that time, it made things very uncomfortable for the so-called lids. Let's get right into it, y'all. Alright, so do you see the image you're looking at of the Matrix? Now, I need you to pay attention because this is probably the most frightening thing that's going on and taking place on planet Earth right now. And this is more frightening than child trafficking? This is more frightening than terrorism? This is more frightening than pedophilia? Or homosexualism? This is more frightening than anything that's going on in this world. It's the very fact that the so-called fake elites they have access to our memories you see what you're looking at what they did in the matrix what based on the universal law that we need to know what these people are up to because we have to make a choice if we are going to follow the dark side or we're going to follow the light so they put it in plain sight in movies for us to see mocking us deliberately mocking us to let us know that they have access to our memories what you are seeing with the plug in the back of New York's car, right there, that is the fake elites letting you know that they have an all-seeing eye connected right into your very soul, tapped in right into your very consciousness. Can you imagine that? How frightening is that? The very thoughts that there's another person, another mind in your soul, in your body, and you're not aware of it. And it's subatomically, sub subconsciously, remotely controls you. Remotely controls your emotions and stirs up your emotions. You know, you know how when you get frustrated sort of over a little thing, you exaggerate the whole thing. This is what the Matrix does. You see, these people spy into our very consciousness. The reason why I said this is more frightening than child sex trafficking, even though child sex trafficking is probably the number one craziest shit is going on in this world right now this is more frightening than that because they could keep track of you they could keep track of your kids they could keep track of your family by spying into your memory by spying into your consciousness and they're tapped in to everything that you do they see everything that you do i realized this when i had a spiritual awakening and I was shocked. I was, I was, I was, I had, no, I, 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 I was shocked. That's all I could say. I, I woke up from the matrix and the things that, the things that I had to do to get out of it seemed bizarre. Like for example, I had to tap, I had to tap my head. You know, it's crazy. I had to eat a certain way at some point. It's some crazy things that I had to do because the vibration was on me it was attached to me like magnet and i had it i had a i had a get rid of it so that's what i'm trying to let you know y'all these people are spying into your consciousness they're spying into your mind they're aware of how much money is in your bank account how much money is in your spouse bank account is how much money how much money is in your kids bank account or if they have any money at all if they are aware of everything that is going on in the people's life that's why they keep quiet that's why they are so arrogant. Sometimes I wonder, how can these people be so arrogant? You really think that the darkness can beat the light? You really think God, God in his infinite wisdom and power, is going to create the whole universe and just let you come and destroy it? You really think God will not show up himself? The Lord of the house, the Lord of glory, will not come, will not manifest himself down to this dimension and get rid of y'all. I always thought about that. And I realized why, why they were so arrogant. It's because they have direct access to your memories. Right? This is why this is why it's so crazy when when little children go missing. Little children go missing and the thefts can't find them because they are lying to you. They know exactly where them kids are. I'm telling you, they know exactly where them kids are. They are lying to everybody. This whole world is nothing but a lie. The Matrix explains exactly what's going on. It's the machine. The machine they're talking about is demons, but these demons are also AI. That's what people need to realize is when you become demonized, right? Your, your level of consciousness falls not only from the fourth dimension or to the twelfth dimension. It becomes two-dimensional, even one-dimensional, becoming AI. This is where the AI consciousness streams from, from demons. Demons are very... Uh, demons birth AI into existence. 
I mean, of course we used AI because I remember in the heavens, I used to create AI in droids and I would be with battle or we would spar with them and fight with them to level up our, you know, strength or whatever. But what I'm trying to let you know is that these people are tapped into your memories and this is crazy. It's motherfucker. I'm going to tell you what it is that I did that upset them that actually really got their attention. All right, so let me tell you all what I did that made them very uncomfortable. So many years ago, when the internet first came out, right, I was back in Africa, in Nigeria. So I didn't used to, I never looked at pornography back in Nigeria until I came to America. I was about 12, 13 years old at the time. And that was like the first time, uh, to, you know, I had no idea what pornography was or to even look it up, search it up on a computer or on my dad's laptop, I had no idea what that was to even look. I was somebody showed it to me, right? And uh, over the years, I had no use for it until you know, several years when I had several years when I had grown into an adult, living the life of a bachelor, fornicating, you know, not married, and thinking you need to watch pornography to get in the mood or whatever. And eventually, right, eventually, I had a spiritual awakening where I was out of my body, right? So I, I uh, had a spiritual awakening where my soul was sitting outside of my body. Literally, I had an aura, like some Dragon Ball Z character, but although it wasn't visible to other people, it was to me. To me and the, higher, and the beings in the higher dimensions, they could see my aura. And I was sitting, I was, my vibration was so high I was sitting outside of my body and I started downloading the information literally all right so watch this y'all all right you see what's going on right now the way she she moves instantaneously through space and time right and her consciousness is almost anywhere she thinks about she can go there instantaneously wherever she thinks about she's already there so what lucy was experiencing and what is exactly what i was experiencing all right this was the fourth dimension it was when you had your kundalini awakening so i started smoking bud and all of a sudden i didn't like the what how i felt whenever i ate meat all right when i started smoking weed i didn't like the way i felt when i bought KFC, Crown Fries, which was one of my favorites back then. I would always go there with my friends and we would buy uh, Crown Fries. So I didn't like the way it felt. So I stopped eating meat and I started detoxing heavily. I didn't know I was detoxing. I literally just cut out eating meat. And after a while, my Kundalini activated and I was literally doing what Lucy was doing, where I was projecting myself everywhere, literally everywhere, although it was in the dark. Yeah, it was in the dark. I couldn't really see anything, but I could feel what was going on around me. I could feel it because I was, what, outside of my body. It felt like I was teleported. And instantaneously, I was there. So, so while I was familiarizing myself with my newfound powers and trying to understand what I can and cannot do in the quantum realm, in the subatomic realm, Realm, which is the fourth dimension in the dark web in the metaphysical plane so i got attacked and eventually i realized i was who was attacking me was coming from the elites because what i was doing was asking questions probing questions you see how yes you were what people think is Jesus but not really Jesus because the, he didn't say his name was Jesus he said his name was Yeshua and you can't just translate his name because that's blasphemy and you're not even getting it right if you translate his, translate his name it's not going to be Jesus it's going to be Joshua alright so I'm just pointing that out but which Joshua did in the Bible was to ask demons who are you so whoever is attacking him or trying to attack him he will ask what is your name who are you because you can't really defeat a spiritual being Unless you have their names, unless you know who they are, you know who you're dealing with. Otherwise, they just keep coming back. I'm telling you this from experience. I've dealt with countless evil spirits and countless demons, shadow demons, whatever you name them. And they would keep coming back if you don't know their names. Meaning you have to know what's attacking you. 
before you can stop it. And it's the craziest thing about that is they're in the dark dimension. So the only way you can know their names is to ask them directly. And I knew because now what I'm doing is an advanced technique where you are filling the space around you. And it don't matter how far they are. It could be thousands of miles away from you. You are filling the information. When you fill it, you download it within your consciousness. And you instinctively know. Like, you will just know the answer. You will just know who it is. All right? I, I, it's, it's, it's a sixth sense. All right? It's not something you can really explain. It's a senses. It goes beyond the physical dimension. So, I asked them, who are you? And, they, and I found out it was the so-called fake elites. It was the fake elites. And apparently, they had connection to my skull, to the back of my head. And it felt like, you know, the more they kept attacking me, because now I know who they were, they started attacking me even more. So, and I, I knew they just know, because you, you would just know they know what you know. You feel me? And I knew they know what I knew because they were in my head. All right? They were in my body. And these people invade your space by all the, you know, handful things that you do to yourself over the years by mistake consciously or unconsciously all right it could be the lotion that you're rubbing on your skin and that's how they invade your mind as a matter of fact they've been invaded your mind since your mother's womb but what i'm saying is it felt like i was losing energy all right i was losing power and it was coming through my skull through my what left brain through the back of my head where they say plug where you are plugged into the matrix that's where it was coming they, were, they literally had access to my memories and it seemed like they were using a woman all right and it's some some bitch all right they were using some bitch as to as like a reminder of why they why they have rights to my soul why they have rights to my skull why they have or or it's, it's example they were using they were, they were using a lot of different memories a lot of different memories and all of them are bitches either bitches from either bitches from real life or bitches from watching pornography all right which is why i try to encourage people to stop watching pornography you are being attacked all right first of all well, when you watch pornography the algorithm the same system that powers up the internet the same algorithm that powers up things the same algorithm that powers up the universe all right so if you're watching pornography you are feeding the algorithm because it wants to, you're feeding the algorithm, the information, informations that, that will cause it to start searching for people that will fit your image, that will fit your ideal woman, your ideal, whatever it is, eye candy that you're looking for. So in the sense of doing that spiritually, what you are doing is you are giving them your woman. All right, you need to understand that you are watching pornography Whoever the guy in the screen is smashing, is smashing out of all the millions of millions of views, out of all the millions of views piled up watching them pornography scenes. One of them niggers, all right, that's their woman. That's their soulmate. Out of all the thousands of views, one of that, one of them niggers is watching that is watching that shit. That's your soulmate. That's your girl. I am not gonna lie to you. Alright, that's your girl. Your girl is getting smashed, bro. Because you have agreed with this and you have signed with this and not you are not supposed to agree with the shit. Right? You're not supposed to agree with the shit. But since you agree with it and you decided to roll with it and you know you, now you're believing this is how women is supposed to be, how are you gonna go into the fourth dimension? Tell me. How are you gonna go into the fourth dimension? Let me let me know in the comment section. How are you gonna go in the fourth dimension? In the fourth dimension, they don't do that shit. No, don't nobody be watching pornography in the fourth dimension, bro. Nobody watches that fourth dimension and higher. All right, we're authentic. We're authentic. We're original. We don't degrade ourselves to watch that shit. So I realized what they were doing. They were using Eve. Eve bec becomes Adam's weakness. I'm like, that ain't even my girl, bro. First of all, because literally I was having this conversation with them telepathically, and I'm like, first of all, that ain't even my girl. You can't just pull her from through my memory and be like, oh, I'm attacking you because of her. I'm attacking you because of what you what you're doing. But you, I'm like, all right. Then I started realizing that I needed to get it right with God. I needed to stop going to the club. I needed to stop going to the bar. I needed to stop going to strip club, doing all this dumb shit. I needed to stop living my life like, you know, this ain't no spiritual about it. So and I came to God, and I realized i had to talk about this because not a lot of people are aware of this right? not a lot of people are aware of this 
they have access to your memories the so-called fake the so-called elites the fake elites they have access to your memories and they know how to pull you down to drag you down with them but only that you're not even on the same level with them they still one up you all right they still one level above you ruling over you even though both of you are in the big the deepest 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 lower depth of the abyss they're still one up you in authority and still trying to override you so even though they're slaves to their masters they try to make you a slave to them they try to tell you this and this and that basically they try to tell you that you're a sinner they try to they try to make you seem like a sinner they try to they try to tell you you, you don't have god's protection right you don't have melanin you don't you don't got that protection god is not they try to make you feel god is not gonna protect you god don't love you god don't care for you because you're a sinner so i started getting right with god and guess what we had round two because after i started getting right with god that place was sealed right this is now when you've been unplugged from the matrix and that stuff is no longer connected to the back of your head now it's now now it's what it's sealed it's what it's unplugged you are unplugged you are disconnected you're protected you're jacked up all right you're protected and you are what jacked up this is what it meant in the bible when the bible was talking about i believe it's in the revelations i'm not sure i have to look it up but it was talking about basically god, god coming again in those that have the mark of God in their forehead. Now, when this cell covers the back of your head, they can't see into your memories anymore. They can't spy into your head. Is why the Matrix portrayed all of this. When they unplug from the Matrix, they are a whole different person. They have supernatural abilities. They can do things. So now these people cannot spy into their head like they used to. They can't keep track of them like they used to. They can't track their locations. They can't track anything about them. That back of my head was sealed up because I had a, I invented some techniques for whoever is gonna whoever is gonna go down the same rabbit hole that I went through and encounter the same troubles that I went through and realize that these people are spying into your memories and that they have their fingers in the back of your head all right and you're not crazy for realizing that because people may think that you're crazy you should try to tell them that shit all right so if when I invented some techniques that would help you seal it up disconnect it would disconnect you on an energetic level not physically because physically you're not holding hands but on an energetic level they are holding you they are holding your spirit in your heart part of they are holding you now when this cell is covered when this cell is covered your your third eye will be opened your third eye will be opened clearly all right and that's where you get the light at the front of your head which is the mark of god is how God knows his children. His children have their spiritual eyes open. You have to ask the Holy Spirit to open your eyes, your third eye. The Holy Spirit, they're very much aware of what you're saying. Prayers is very real. Spells are very real. And they are listening. You are in a system is like a computer. You have to realize the same algorithm that powers our our computers is the same algorithm that's powering the matrix. It's not just the matrix, the divine blueprint matrix in this crappy matrix. That's what you have to realize. Now we're exactly did I made them upset. How exactly did I make them upset? It was when we had round two. When we had battled round two. They try to tell me, they try to pull memories from, the, you know, because I stopped watching pornography, I stopped doing, you know, I stopped doing any, associating myself with bitches spirit, right? And I stopped living that life. I just, I became spiritual because I realized the consequences of that life is death. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to do the exact opposite. So, and I, which is what I started doing. And now they don't really have any memories or active memories of no bitches in my head but they still went deep in my subconscious and try to pull things up so i said i backfired but i did it on the energetic level you have to realize when i'm talking of energetic level i'm talking about vibration you're speaking telepathically whereby your words are echoing in the whole space that will reach the sky the space that echoes in the universe all around the earth 
right it's, it's it's a telepathic battle it's a battle it's a it's a it's like what you're watching right now I mean, you know it's like hacky i don't know if you, you guys are familiar with hacky but you're literally it's a, it's a battle of attrition with with your mind so whoever has the strongest light would win and sometimes they have false light but it's bold light it's light that was you know somehow they got i don't know how they got light but somehow they got the lights to be able to have telepathic communication with me and because you need light frequency to have them telepathic communication with people it's called light language and somehow i don't know how darkness have light that they are able to use lights to talk to you or i'm thinking maybe because they got it from people who sold their souls to them somehow they're able to do this and we had round two and that backfired everything all right i told him no that's you that's you bro that's you doing all that all right now, all of that shit because he tried to say he has the right to attack me and he has the right to take my wound that's another thing i wanted to let you know in the story of heaven the story of the battle that took place in heaven it was all it happened because of a woman all right i had an idea many years ago back when i was in high school i was writing a story about how the devil tried to you know have sex with god's wife and god backfired it and had sex with his wife instead and that's where the war began and i got that from the line uh from the line in the bible that said lucifer said i would ascend in the heavens and i'll mount the throne of god and i'm like all right so if he was a throne yeshua would have given him the seat all right yeshua would have given him the throne it's not a big deal you can always construct and create a new throne out of nothing but he's not talking about an actual throne that's a metaphor for something it's a symbol for his woman right so and i'm like i'm gonna write this story and it's gonna be interesting and um and years later i uh came across i came across egyptian uh egyptian the egyptian pantheons the gods i read about them and he said he talked about osiris who is yeshua had sex with seth seth's wife the woman that he loved yeshua had sex with his wife so and that pretty much clarified my theory of what i was thinking about i realized this is literally the true story the war in heaven happened because of a woman like really because of a woman bro the war in heaven happened because of a woman all right so that's what's going on right now still that's what's going on right now still and i remember a thing that we used to do in heaven right we whenever the these beings this evil spirit attacked us in the fourth dimension or try to take away our power lower our vibration somehow you know one way or another they always try to find one loophole to try to lower your vibration and even if it's a little bit and what we do is we take it from their women all right from their heavenly divine woman all right we take it from the woman of their heart which is their soulmate their twin flame the woman from their heart from the image in their mind so we go into their memory and we do this to them and we take back our power the power that they took from us we take it back by having sex with their woman literally by mating with their women or by 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 taking their woman away from them their woman by taking their woman away from them she gives us back our power she basically gives you a peace of mind all right peace of mind when that plug is plugged in in the back of your head you have no peace but you don't realize this you think you're sober but you're not you think headache is normal but it's not you think you're only stressing because you're coming back from work but it's not you're being attacked they are literally floating if you should realize what's going on on a subatomic level when you are high when you are high as shit and you should realize what's going on in the subatomic god you would you would feel so bad for human beings and you would and you you realize you may find yourself detaching from people because you realize that a lot of people are possessed a lot of people are possessed and they look normal they look normal they don't even realize it but they are possessed you know they're possessed because of what lower self all they doing all the things they're doing all the things they're thinking about lower self still positive may have a car have a nice house have a good job or whatever even be educated even be 
educate, I have a PhD or whatever, but that's exactly what I'm talking about. If you should pay attention to what's going on in their life, you realize that they're not living like li what I'm trying to let you know is that we are guys. Guys leave like 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 how do I put it? Not necessary animals, but we leave like animals. Meaning we, we stay out in the nature. We live in nature, you guys. We live in nature. Right? We don't we don't always we're not always in the house. We're not always in the like we like but look at how man is right now. You know look at how man is right now. They can't they don't even sleep outside on the floor or try to sleep out on the sunlight or do anything. They're always indoors. Everybody always indoors. So that's the thing. You realize that they are, there's a lot of things that people are doing that is not normal. And they think it's normal. But they are possessed. They're living in a normal mind. They're living in a survival mind. They think they have to behave a certain way. And, and they call it being civilized. Alright, I know I know there is such a thing as being civilized. But there's also such a thing as being civilized in the... There's also such a thing as being civilized in the lower mind people operating in the lower mind you wake up every day enslaved to your job enslaved to your work you literally literally cannot you literally cannot afford to sleep in when you feel like sleeping when you don't feel like going to work you don't have the luxury to do any of that because why you could lose your house if you're not you don't have you didn't go to work and you didn't make the money to pay your rent you lose your house you lose whatever things you lose your money to buy food it's, it's a lot this board it's upside down and we are allowing it to happen it is us that is allowing it to happen because we're not doing what right. we're not studying what's going on on a subatomic level we're not studying what's going on on an energetic level you want to talk to god you want to pray to god you have to do that on an energetic level it is not just something that you do with mouth alone that's one of the process but that's only 50 percent of the process the rest of the work the other 50 percent that makes it 100 percent total is being done on the energetic level you have to go in spirit is why they say when you pray yes you say you pray in spirit people misunderstood what he was saying he's talking about using your heart vibration your frequency using the heart portal all right using vibrations and people don't realize for you to ascend, for you to for you to leave this, for you to leave this realm and never return here, you literally have to raise your vibration. If you're not focused on raising your vibration right now, eating the right food, spending time underneath the sun, not sinning, praying to God, as talking to God as much as you can, and smoking some bad, and you most likely have no problem coming back here. Right? That's all I'm gonna say. You have no problem coming back here. And I'm not trying to do this all over again. All of this is exhausting. Not having like-minded people be around you is exhausting. Right? Not having like because I, if I had like-minded people around me, we would have been past got rid of corrupted criminals, corrupted organizations, corrupted institutions. Cor like we would have been past got rid of I had like-minded people. This is something that I would have done a long time ago. But it's not having like when people are so they're so docile you don't even think about anything but work you don't even think about anything except for what's going on at your day job that's crazy like they got you in a freaking matrix you are a robot a machine is plugged in into your spirit and that machine is a demon the demon is an ai they are both the same because it's a one-dimensional consciousness that is the zombie consciousness when you lose your light, when you completely lose your light to darkness, that is the zombie consciousness, AI. Right? So, I called upon the God. I said, the God who judged, the God who judges all, the God who judges every situation, the God who judges everything. I was, I was talking to God in the energetic level, on a subatomic level, okay? I was telling the God who judged my heart, who knows my heart, right? To backfire every evil being projected towards my woman because he this so-called elites kept trying to attack my woman right you are born with both a masculine and a feminine part you are born 
where, where you're born okay you're born with your counterpart and you are always connected with your counterpart and you could talk to your counterpart telepathically right i do that i talk to my counterparts in the higher dimensions they help me out all the time and when i dreams i when i dream i see them i talk to them so this is a real thing i'm actually going to animate some of my dreams out for y'all to see and get an idea of the kind of dreams that i have on a, on a regular y'all be like yo that's crazy yo like i'm serious you be like that's crazy but this you're connected to your counterpart at all times and if you should sin if you should sin and your counterpart should sin also she will be lost she wouldn't belong to you anymore you will either divorce her or she will divorce you you guys wouldn't be to get together anymore so when they try to attack my counterpart through my memories because they, they you everything that you are gonna do in the future and in, in you or you are gonna do in the past and if it's already in your soul you have to realize your soul is infinite and your physical body is just going around the 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 the, the, the what is it called the path it's just taking a path it's going around your soul your physical body is going around the self program so that your the, the perimeters that your soul set for you that you are going to do in this lifetime but you everything you are going to do in the future you already have done it this is reason why um a lot of people a lot of people were able to get with understand the animation called one piece when they introduced us the, so the concept of hacky what is called high key where you could observation high key where you could feel the future this is what we do y'all this is a real thing you could literally feel your future star dimensional rim is a shadow universe of the real world which is where your soul dwells in the fourth dimension all right and in the fourth dimension there is no time everything happens all at once so your physical body may be moving linear but you could sense time you could sense it and you could download it into your stream of consciousness and know exactly what's going to happen in the future so your future is already set the person you're going to be with the person you're going to get married to is already been destined is already set because your soul you guys made that contract in the fourth dimension before incarnating in the, in the third dimension in the physical realm so now imagine the dark ones interrupting that and taking your woman away from you this is their goal this is their agenda their agenda is what woman woman is the agenda but you have to realize though woman doesn't just mean her or her woman doesn't mean female only woman means anything anything that is good is a woman because we believe this universe is a woman all right every heaven itself is a woman because the word woman wow man wow man that's woman wow man i'm trying to wow you man wow man so whatever could wow you your nice car your fancy house your good job your career your phd career or whatever your money that you have your trinkets your your children your husband that's right even your husband is your woman as a woman if they want your woman they're going after your man they're going after your man you gotta protect your man that means in the future you're gonna lose your man if you because they have access to your memory if you do not guide your memory you do not activate your kundalini you could lose your woman i'm sorry you could lose your woman right that's what i need y'all to know today because this video is already long enough i didn't expect this to be that long but that's what i need you guys to know they have access to your woman and I freaked him out because I backfired everything he was trying to do and I made him very uncomfortable. See, when, when, I, when I get in people's auric feud and they have demons, they could try and attack me again. But it's always that they're afterward. Your woman is what people need to pay attention to. Alright? They're after your woman. People think that it's money, money, money that they want. They want money, but money is second. The first thing that they want is your woman. Uh, when I attacked them, when I backfired what he what they were saying, they stopped. But um you know what that means. I had my way with their woman. Right? Because I backfired what he was telling me telepathically. It comes as a strange feeling and the feeling makes you uncomfortable. To the point that you for you to relax, you find yourself literally forcing your body, you're beating your body to relax. Imagine that bro. That's how you know something is inside of you. You literally have to beat it down 
to relax. You have to force yourself to relax. There's a way that I talk to the angels. There's a way that I talk to my guards and God. Right? There's a way that we do this. And I need you to know how to do this. But people have to be willing to do this. They have to be willing to want to learn this on their own. So, literally, you could tell yourself, I know what you're saying, Lord. But you say it on a vibrational level. You, you have to spin the macabre. You, you tell yourself, I know what you said to me, Lord. I know what you said to me, angels. I know what you said to me. And you know exactly what they're saying to you. So, there's a, there's a time that they told me that all the evil being done in this world, all the evil being done in this world, alright? Y'all should pay attention to what I'm about to say. All the evil being done in this world, we did it first to them in the fourth dimension and in the higher dimensions is that was their hellfire what they are what they are put what they are doing here is a reflection of of the suffering the pain and suffering that they were they we are experiencing in hell all right there was the pain reflection of the pain and suffering they were experiencing in hell that's what they are trying to normalize you know they're trying to have you go through the same shit that we would do because we first started doing all of this to them that's what I was being told, right? We were, we first started doing everything. We first started doing all of this to them as a punishment. So in Hellfire, we would have them uh, like uh, demons who are not gay. Because I'm pretty sure not all demons is gay. But demons who are not gay or don't want to be gay, we would have them do gay shit. Right? That's what the dark dimension is, y'all. In the dark, whoever goes in the dark dimension is giving their right and freedom to those in the light dimension because whoever is in the dark dimension pretty much went to sleep. Imagine a god that doesn't sleep, a system, an engine, an engine that is designed that is designed to never sleep, age, or die, or have no constraint, no confinement to time and space. Give up all of that and went to sleep. That's what sin does to you. You lose your light and you look like this picture you're looking at. You lose your light and you have you become you become soulless. You become soulless, hollow. You become darkness itself. Right? And when that happens, you're weakened. People think that demons, oh, demonic power, very strong, very strong. But you should see them before that. You should see them when they were angels, y'all. They were way stronger than that, y'all. You feel me? They were way stronger than that. People, I see that a lot in animes, in movies and shit. Oh, demonic power. Oh, he's gonna use demonic. Like, fuck out of here, bro. Stop hyping that shit. Demonic power is there's nothing to it, alright? I defeat demons all the time. I defeat demons all the time with holy love and holy sunlight and holy hatred. Holy hatred, holy evil. Holy hatred, holy evil. Meaning, I'm using cause energy. And bless energy at the same time because the Bible says, What did the Bible say? Bless what your enemies, bless your enemies. That's what the Bible says. Because why God is love, you can't just give them hatred only, it doesn't matter what they did. You can't just give them hatred only. The energy of hatred, you can't just give it to them. That's not the only thing you gotta give them. 50 50, you give them perfect love. And perfect hatred. So whenever his demon demon is, atta is attacking me, I bless him. But I bless him in perfect love and perfect hatred. I give him I cost I give him both the blessed energy and the cost energy. Alright? When they start waking up, so they're not confused. Because what I saw in my dream was, you know, at some point people were freaking out. People were shouting, people were freaking out, you know, because they realized that this demons or these uh, elites they were existing in the fourth dimension and they literally could go into the fourth dimension go invincible and attack people and when they were doing this people were losing power they were losing they were they were getting access to their memories and evil spirit were you know possessing those that were afraid and people were losing power and you know they started freaking out this is when the spiritual awakening is happening or the literally energies like vibrations is everywhere you could see it. It's pulsating everywhere. But it's those people that are losing power is losing. People that are sinners is losing power. And people that are not sinners is getting stronger. So, and people were freaking out. So, I seen this shit and I was like, and the reason this is what I'm be trying to tell y'all, y'all. Like, 
you could literally sense the future y'all you could literally because you're not in this you're not confined into the to linear third dimension so you could literally sense what's going on in the future and if you don't see the whole details while you're awake in the meditation and they come to you during your dreams which is why i get dreams like that i get crazy dreams y'all so yeah the angels told me that whatever evil that whatever evil is going on right here in the third dimension we did it to them first all right so it's nothing that you see here is, is new nothing that you see here is oh they're getting creative oh how do they think about these things how did you think about those things you did it first you did it way worse than that all right you did it way worse than what what you're seeing right now all right because as soon as as soon as a, a formal god loses his right as a god and sleeps and becomes a demon and give up his light and becomes all darkness the light could think about them in any formal way in the dark dimension so meaning whatever you think about them they're already doing it that's what hellfire is whatever you think about them whatever it is whatever kind of thought that you have negative thoughts whatever negative thought you have whatever negative idea you have about them oh it will feel so good to rape his wife right now you're already doing it but don't even not be raped because you're also using love you have to use love it's the thing about god god is love right which is like what i was saying earlier you have to use both love and perfect hatred because the bible says to love your neighbor and the bible also says uh don't suffer suffer not the witch to leave so which is why you could say well, the bible is contradicting it's not it wants you to do both it wants you to love your enemies and to also hate them so it wants you to do both it wants you to hate them with perfect hatred and you know because it's sinners they're sin they're sinners if you if you're an active sinner you refuse to repent you refuse to turn away from sin you just want to keep sinning you obviously know you cannot attack somebody's daughter you you cannot rape somebody's daughter you can't you can't do any of this stupid shit you know this foolishness you can't do any of this shit because you don't you don't like it if they, that's been done to you because you wouldn't like it if that was being done to you obviously you know you can't do none of that shit but yet you you take pleasure in doing that and no matter how we try to explain it to you that that's not normal and you shouldn't want to do that because it could be done to you you still don't you don't give a fuck you just you like you want to live your life like that so you you're gonna lose your right as a as a god and you're gonna be a demon so now when you pass transition into the fourth dimension where your soul rests your soul has lost its light and it's no longer light it's now what pitch darkness it's pure pitch darkness meaning whatever way whatever dark thoughts i have in my head towards you you're already gonna be doing it because reality is being controlled by our, the thoughts from our, the wave of our thoughts and people need to realize that their thoughts is being blocked they don't want you thinking big they don't want you thinking about anything that is gonna upset the status quo because that your thoughts creates reality right it becomes a wave it becomes a wave that creates a possibility it makes things likely to happen or right? it makes crazy shit crazy things likely to happen and they don't want you doing that so which is what i uh which is what i i'm talking about here whatever it is that you think about them in the dark dimension you see them doing it and it's crazy you see them doing all type of shit you could you could have them kill each other i've done that several times i've done i've upset i've upset this so-called elite several times i've attacked them i'm talking about spiritual attack you have to attack them in the spirit you have to attack these people you have to realize people some people a lot of people in this world respond only to violence they respond only to violence you literally have to attack them so i attack them in the spirit i do all sort of things i want to do to their wife to their to the so-called love of their heart and you could feel the resistance in the space you could feel the resistance in my thoughts in my head they don't want me thinking like that they don't want me having such thoughts they don't want me thinking that i could bang the wife they don't want me thinking that shit. all right so you could feel the resistance and it gives you blood you could feel them attacking you in the metaphysical plane giving you blockages and shit. so i don't i don't let them i don't i don't let i don't let them i don't let them attack me i don't let them give me no blockages 
right so i still do my shit whatever i gotta do with the wife i still do whatever i gotta do until i'm done i literally stay right there and i visualize all of this and i do all of this stuff with my mind and i see myself literally doing this because i'm getting reaction in air in the space i'm getting reaction i could literally lose power if i'm not if i don't stay focused i could lose power because they are constantly attacking me they don't want me doing that because i'm showing it to them i'm projecting that i'm i'm smashing i'm projecting that i'm smashing i'm clapping i'm clapping the woman that you love so much i'm literally saying it on a frequency level and they hate that shit y'all they hate that shit that's all i gotta say y'all you know that's all i gotta say y'all gotta stay woke you gotta stay woke you gotta realize your spiritual being you're not trapped in your physical body only if you feel that way you gotta smoke some bud you gotta be around the sun if you feel like you're trapped in the body if you don't feel like you don't feel that puzzling you know the frequency the vibration you don't feel the love upon you you don't feel that that atmosphere you don't you know that that when you are in an aura when you're surrounded by an aura or, or, or a bubble you know feels so good if you don't feel that way right you're not you're not sober I'm telling you, you're not sober. You people may think that oh, you you people that is high is high, and the people that are sober is sober. No, it's it's backwards. All right, it's backwards. This is what's, what's actually crazy. The people that think that they sober, they're actually high like a motherfucker, bro. They're high on the dumb shit. You think that you're gonna be sober? You're not gonna smoke no bud ever in your life. You high on the dumb shit. You're not sober, bro. I'm gonna tell you right now, you are not sober. The people that are actually sober. Is the people that smoke bud and wake up because there are two type of people that smoke bud. People that actually smoke bud and wake up from it and become sober, truly sober. And the people that smoke bud and go to sleep. People that smoke bud and think that I don't mean go to sleep like literally, but I mean smoke bud and 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 do dumb shit. And you're still doing dumb shit, bro. You're not you're not coming out of your soul. I mean, your soul is not coming out of your body. You, 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 it's nothing changed in your vibration. Nothing elevates. Every day I smoke bud, I change my vibrational level. I go up a notch. Every day I cultivate. I get stronger and stronger. Every day. I don't just smoke bud and remain the same and just doing stupid dumb shit. Alright? Eating the same stupid toxic food. And my mindset is not changing. My, I'm not elevating anything. You know, I'm not connected to God. And that's all I'm going to say today, y'all. So I'm gonna say today, stay woke. <laughs> yo guys, yo guys, they've elites, all right. They've. I'm tired of calling them fake elites. In the hellfire, they're gonna be known as the elites, but the elites are giving up their women, all right. That's what they're gonna be known for. I'm telling you, it's already, it's already a done deal. I'm talking with the Most High right now, and we were just, we were just laughing about this. I already got done recording all of this. But while I was editing this, I started, I started talking with the most high about this, and it was just too funny. Cause I'm like, they're no elites, bro. Like you giving up your woman, bro. You went to sleep. You used to be a god, and you went to sleep. So now, whatever I think about, whatever thoughts, negative thoughts I think about towards you, you have no defenses, no spiritual defenses in the fourth dimension. I could attack you in the spirit, bro. And I could take your woman. So you're a late, all right? <laughs> you're a late at giving up your woman. <laughs> <laughs>